Hi everybody. So today I'm going to be showing you um, three new different um, graphical uh, mods that you're able to do to uh, Football Manager 26. Uh, these are all very similar to uh, things that you could do in FM24. So this video is more serving uh, one to show you how to use the files which are now downloadable, but also um, to show uh, where there's even more files and things that we can edit as uh, football manager players um you know since the release of the game has been fairly uh, poorly received but also as well that we've kind of lost skinning which is something that that we're trying to uh, bring back i thought i'd just show a few things first i want to see um thank you to bassy boy for for his videos and his contribution to the community uh, especially um the speeding up your game video but as well making custom colored skins and, and football manager uh, 26 backgrounds. Uh, there's actually a skinning thread uh, at the moment, which is trying to look at everything possible that we can um, do to bring skin skinning back. And it seems quite uh, quite hopeful, but it also seems quite complicated by comparison to uh, what we used to have to do. But I'd bring to light this FM26 mod uh, that, that uh, speeds up game startup that was released uh, as of yesterday. So. Firstly, I thought I'd just talk about what the actual mods that I have made are. Firstly, uh, there's one uh, which is to do with pre-match backgrounds. Uh, one that is to do with uh, background assets. And then one that is to do with stadium ads. So the first one, pre-match uh, backgrounds assets. For those of you that haven't done any FM26 modding, hopefully this can serve as a quick refresher of how to do it. But in order to make any of your own mods, you will need something called UABE. Uh, Avalonia, which can be found on GitHub, and I'll link that down in the description below. Uh, but Basketball has a really good video um, on how to how to use the software. I won't go into that today, uh, but this is how you are able to look at packages um, that are in the Football Manager uh, data files. Now, where exactly do you find the data files? Well, firstly, uh, you'll need to locate where the game is downloaded. Mine is located in Program Files x86. We then scroll down to Steam go to steam apps steam common football manager 26 fm data streaming assets and then this double a there are some files and licensed data which include 3d ball models but most of them that i'll be showing today will be in aa and then you want to go to standalone windows 64 and all the files will be here so anything that you've downloaded you can just drag and drop into here replace the files uh, load up the game and then see if see if they're in there they will work uh, based on the current uh, patch which is of the 9th of the 11th 25 um, so anything moving on seemingly sports interactive likes to update uh, bundle files that have files that have no changes to them whatsoever so um, that does cause issues with with modding uh, also means with every update you have to replace those files every time so it's good to have them on hand so what are the actual files that i have uh, made available well firstly is a pre-match file and as you can see here there's not many files in this in this uh, package or uh, in this bundle but we can see here we have a lineup background which is the lineup background that you have for generic uh, leagues that aren't fully licensed we also have the league table and as well this uh, middle file here which uh, you can't see but um, that fills in all the gaps for all the other teams. So what I have made is I have taken the Premier League uh, one that was licensed and modified it. So I have inverted the colors, made it grayscale, made it darker and uh, made the background opaque. But this uh, acts as sort of like a dark mode uh, for the lineup. And then here we have the league table. So this is what shows up before the game when it's giving a league table preview. And this file here is that middle one that I was talking about that fills in all the gaps so these will be contained within the bundle file here and all you need to do is drag and drop that into the standalone windows 64 file this one here and if you want to locate the file yourself so that you know what you're replacing just type in ui premat and it will be this one so anything that you put in may be recommended to back up the file first in case anything goes wrong this is basically also uh, to suggest that if you want to make your own league table your own lineup uh, maybe for a league that you're playing in that isn't licensed and you want what you see on TV, this is the file that you edit. And you can edit it using UABE and then Photoshop or anything else that you use to edit images. Next, we'll be looking at UI backgrounds assets common, which is 
heavily gone over in the Bassy Boy video. I want to just highlight these news images here. So for example, you can see here, this is uh, generated by Sports Interactive using the Unity uh, engine. And I just didn't like these. I could tell that they did not look like humans. So instead that crowd jubilation, I then took this one, which is from Leicester City's title winning uh, season. But you know, these are actual people with actual motions and you can feel it much more. So whenever you're looking at the news in game, you can see this guy's face cheering definitely not on anything but moreover it's for every single news uh thing so for any media just some things that i like to like to have in my game that make it very personal but i've also included this for for you guys to to take to sort of make it feel a bit more real i've also included these uh, dynamic uh pattern dark textures which this will be just backgrounds this kind of gets rid of that uh, weird symbol that football manager are putting everywhere i find it to be distracting on my eyes so i've made a background just to eliminate that all of that is contained within the same ui backgrounds assets common bundle so you just drag and drop and you have them all there and if you ever want to get rid of any you can just export them edit them and then put them back in finally the last one i want to go over is stadium ads so this is something that I used to do always in football manager because I could not stand seeing the football manager game title in every single league, every single stadium, plastered absolutely everywhere. As you can see, this is all the ad boards available in the game. So if there's any for leagues that you have edited, you can change them uh, in this file, the stadium ads asset all file. But these are the ones that I've changed. I've changed every single FM one to be a different company, for example. So the FM Twitch one has been changed to an anti-betting one, um, as well as we have uh, just a regular football manager one has been changed to Red Bull. Uh, you can just take this stadium ads asset bundle and it will be here and it will just be replaced. So what does this look like in game? Well, uh, let's swap over to the game and I'll show you. Coaching in, I think, the f fourth or fifth division of Sweden. As you can see here, here is the news images. So that's Andy King and Danny Drinkwater. This is uh, the Berlin Fall Tour. There's Wembley. So, you know, it just adds a little bit more realism to your games. And if you ever want to go to the news site, it has them even enlarged here. This is something that you can change, make your own um, and really customize your experience. But if we go to the match, if we just go straight and talk to media, we can see the lineup uh, image is here. So this is all fully customizable, uh, works for both teams. I think it looks really uh, really nice and clean and as well then we have the league table if we go to kickoff if we go here we can see lays behind the goal xbox steel series bialetti um we've got a merc one here but it just makes it feel more like a, a authentic football match you don't you know you don't have football manager plastered everywhere but once again if you want to make it your own make it so that it's specific to your team or your league that you're managing in uh, that's definitely uh definitely something that you uh you can do if you want to download any of the files they should be freely available now but also uh, feel free to, to edit any of the files and, and see what see what you want to do with them